What is up YouTube, Ruben here, and today I'm going to show you guys the Acer Aspire XC1660G. This is model UW93. It does show on the left, so... This computer is manufactured on May 12, 2021, as seen here, and I actually found this thing abandoned at Ciclavia, South LA. Yeah, yeah you all know. For those who don't know about Ciclavia, it's basically an open streets event where it takes place anywhere in LA, throughout LA County. This one I found it during Ciclavia at Western and 60th. So, what I did, it was abandoned, of course, so I decided, you know what, let's take it. And I actually took the thing throughout the whole trip, uh, filming buses and such. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's go and get this thing started. So, on the front, it's kind of black, so I'm going to have the light on. On the front, we got the power button, the Acer logo. This one has HDMI. This one has the optical drive. And here you got a blanking plate for an SD card slot. One USB 3, well it's 3.2, but this is Type-C, a USB Type-C port, a USB 3.1 port, and here you got your headphone and microphone ports. And then, on the back, you see the power supply, two HDMI ports, and then right here you got four USB 2.0 ports and two USB 3.0 ports and then right here you got your usual line in, line out and microphone ports and that was it obviously it's not going to be a long one because it's pretty much nothing and then you get upgrades inside you get the CPU you can upgrade that, you can upgrade the RAM, you can upgrade the SSD because this one does not have a hard drive this one actually has a PCIe NVMe M.2 SSD well it's not PCIe of course but yes it does have an SSD but you can add a hard drive if you want to you can also upgrade the optical drive if you like now I would not recommend upgrading these the Get the cage is kind of putting the cage back in is a whole bunch of problems. Uh, uh, getting that screw in was a pain to uh, well, don't say that, but whatever. It was a pain to get that screw in there, so I would not recommend taking the cage out. But at least you can upgrade the SSD, but you're gonna have to uh, pull it out from that heat sink that's attached to the SSD and it's also attached to the motherboard so I would not recommend upgrading these things but it is possible the front panel uh, you have to take the optical drive out first and then take the front panel off which I don't understand that one so without further ado let's go over specs so this one has an Intel Cry 5 1 1400 I think this is like it's around 2 gigahertz or something it has 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM either at 2400 or 2666 and it has a 512 gigabyte NVMe M.2 SSD and it has Windows 10 Home 64 bit and this one's running I think it's 20H2 or something so yeah, and with that being said, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. So let me go ahead and plug it in. So I'll be back. All right. So the computer is in. So without further ado, let's turn it on. So my name is be able to see it, but yeah. Go to the BIOS. So the processor is a. 2.6 gigahertz memory. It says 8 gigs of RAM. I'm possibly sure this is a 
2400 or 2666. Build day of February 2021. So, yeah. This one does have Secure Boot and TPM 2.0. So that means that uh, this system can actually run Windows 11, no problems. So, yeah, since it is an 11th gen, it's definitely going to run Windows 11. But just to be sure, I'm also, so just to be sure, I'd so not bother Windows 11. So yeah, let's go ahead and discard changes and. Now you see how fast this thing can actually boot with an SSD. Thirty-three. And boom! It's only like 12 seconds. Which is exactly what this SSD can do, so... Yeah, and for whatever reason, and this TV does not like to, this TV does not want to uh, make it full size, so that's, this TV is so retarded, so, and I'm using a JVC TV to use this, so, now without further ado, let's go into system properties, it's kind of too bright. Going to about this PC. So once again, this is an uh, this is an Intel Core i5 1400 at 2.6 gigahertz, 8 gigs of RAM. So yeah, and then for the hard drive, I already told you the 512 gigabyte. This one shows us 237 because uh, it's split into two partitions, which one of them I already had to delete. Because uh, this, uh, I would not recommend putting files in there. So if I can find a way to expand the drive to full size, uh, then I can do that with something like Aomi or whatever tool I can use. Now for the programs, uh, let's go into control panel, go into programs and features, so we got pretty much the stock apps that you get, and yes, it even has Firefox also installed by the manufacturer because this one has Firefox for Acer, kind of cool, so. I didn't even have to install Firefox on there. But this one you got Acer Configuration Manager, App Explorer, the Acer Care Center service, Intel Wireless, Microsoft 365, uh, based on Office 2016, I suppose. Or 2019. It has Microsoft Edge, OneDrive, uh, Firefox 80.0.1, and then Norton Security Ultra, real, and then your real tech drivers. Now let's open up some programs. Uh, let's go to Edge, and boom, that's the power of an SSD. And let's try to open up Firefox. It opens right up. So that's the power of the SSD. So I can make this quick. It does have, like I said, Office. Uh, 365 well Microsoft 365 lots of those apps uh, we have to update which is kind of weird does have messenger but I'm not gonna bother using messenger it's pretty much your usual stuff let's go to the Acer care center no, not Acer product registration.
if it will load, uh, right. now, uh, however configuration, it's DDR4, like I said, either 2400 or 2666, maybe 2900, maybe 2933 if I'm guessing, so, yeah, that's the Acer Care Center. I didn't install that many apps. Yeah, I didn't install that many apps. So let's go to uh, WordPad. Everyone's waiting for something that's really cool. And if I can find a you know, WordPad, and let's type in add along. We're gonna bolt it, it's the other side of it, under and striker, and I'm also gonna make this 72. So yeah. That's word processing. There's no camera there, so I need to get rid of that. It's pretty much not much, I didn't install all the apps, uh, haven't even installed all the apps yet, so, it does have support for Intel Optane, but since, uh, it's just the SSD, there is no uh, Optane, let's see, and I think that was it, because, uh, I don't see that many apps that I'm gonna want to open, and there is one I want to show you, Paint, alright, yeah, so here's Paint, I can just draw my name if I can do it correctly and no that's not what I want. Doing this one handed can be ridiculous. I should probably move it forward. I guess it did come out as I would expect. But again, I kind of like faded because I'm using it one handed. But yeah, that's Microsoft Paint. So, yeah. There's not much I want to show you because there's not that many apps I installed. So, Oh, and for those of you wondering, I'm going to type in Winver. As you can see, it's running version 2009 or 20H2. And like I said, it's running Windows 10 Home. So, yeah. And with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So, now let's get to the conclusion. So in conclusion, is it worth it? Uh, yes, uh, it is worth it. It is a 2021 model. So you pretty much do whatever you want with this thing. Uh, just watch videos, play games, or even uh, do word processing. So you can literally expect this thing to be worth it. Because it is from 2021 uh, and with an SSD. You can boot a lot faster with this thing. So, just to be sure that, again, it's running an M.2 SSD, so no external power to necessary. So, yeah, I think that was it for the conclusion. And also, uh, you can also upgrade it to Windows 11. Since it has an 11th gen Core i5 TPM 2.0 and secure boot. Now, just to be sure that for those who want to run Windows 11, uh, you have to have a, a recommendation of an 8th gen Intel Core uh, i series processor, an 8th gen to be exact, or a Ryzen 2 or the 2000 series or something. It's on the Zen Plus platform, so 
You need 4 gigs of RAM, which this thing has 8, and 64 gig free space. This one has tons of free space, so yeah. So I can literally expect this thing to run a lot better with this, so yeah. And with that, uh, that was pretty much it for the conclusion, so that was it for why I got the review, so yeah, so that was it for the review of the Acer Ashfire XC1660G UW93. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon when I upload new videos. Also follow me on Twitter at RubenAlphadisha17. Or Instagram at RubenTheTransitFan. Or if you want to see my transit content, it's also at Ruben's Transit Hub. So, yeah. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video, so I'll see you next time.